forged by the diggers in the trenches was dubbed the Anzac Spirit. While the monuments and the marches recall the deeds of those men who served, Let's go. much less attention has been paid to the some 3,000 civilian nurses who also served. They had to fight two battles. They had to look after the young men who had been destroyed by this machine. These women didn't crack. They also had to deal with the fact that there were many who said, well, they shouldn't be doing that. This isn't a place for women. servicemen on the front line, the nurses in their white aprons and veils appeared to them as angels. They were the angels of the battlefield. <laughs> 